All right, I'm here today with George Richter, his beautiful daughter. <laughs> uh, we're at Dog Dog Cat. George, when I walk in the store, it's unbelievable the selection that you have here. Thank you. I parked in this spot here because I want to talk about some of the products okay. here. When you go out hiking with your dog, uh, tell me some of the things that, you know, if you're new to the area, that they should know about your dog and footwear. Yeah, well, um, in Lake Tahoe, the, the ground is really rough. We have a lot of granite. Uh, sometimes the year it's really hot, sometimes it's really cold. So even dogs that go out hiking on a sort of semi-average basis can still have a lot of problems with their feet. Mm -hmm. um, it's abrasive, it rips their feet up, they end up with bloody feet, and if you go out in the backcountry, places like Desolation Wilderness or Mount Talac, people end up carrying their dog back. So it's really wise to go with some shoes and uh, be prepared for that so you don't have to carry your dog. So you get a couple options. One lower priced option, maybe not lasting as long. And I see some options here, and they actually have Vibram soles. Yeah. So depending on the scenario for the dog, if you're going out for the weekend or just going to be in the snow for a few hours, mm -hmm. we'll recommend different types of boots. For the dog that's going to go out a lot, uh, if you're hiking with your dog every weekend or you're going out in the backcountry in the snow even, there's shoes that have a rubber sole on the bottom. They're breathable, reflective, mm -hmm. just a much more durable type of shoe, much better for somebody who's really active with their dog. Okay. So the other thing that caught my eye is the uh, Rex Specs. Tell okay. me about those. Yeah, Rex Specs. This is a really great, fun company. Uh, Rex Specs is a, uh, a new goggle company for dogs. Uh, they fit over the dog just like um, a standard pair of, of goggles, mm -hmm. except for it's got a larger space for the nose, more straps to go underneath the chin, over the back of the head, right. but just protect a dog's eyes. Dogs can have problems with their eyes, either getting them sunburn. Sometimes if you like to drive down the road with your dog's head hanging right. out the window, they can get dust in their eyes or bugs in their eyes. Uh, if, you if they love to do that, this is a great way to protect their eyes. A lot of times people take their dogs out hiking, uh, especially some of the dogs with longer coats and fur. Mm -hmm. You have a product here that uh, will help so when that snow balls up in their in their paws and their feet. Yeah. Tell me more about that. Okay. So Musher's Secret, um, it's exactly what it kind of implies is the mushers in, in the Iditarod will use this on the dog's feet to help protect the, the dog's feet from the snow. When it's really cold and certain types of snow conditions, it tends to want to, or the snow tends to want to pack in between the dog's toes. Mm -hmm. You rub this little bit of wax either in between their toes or all over their feet uh, or in other areas on the dog where snow tends to stick yeah. and it just prevents that from happening. It's a it's a edible, it's not intended to be eaten, but it's safe for the dog if they lick it, uh, if they lick their paws, if they if you want to put it on their nose, if they have dry cracked nose, you can also put it on their nose. Um, but it's it's fantastic for reducing that problem. I'm sure people that, that hear this are going to know exactly what I'm talking about. They go out, brand new fresh snow like hopefully we'll have here in the coming weeks and the dog will be walking around normal and in a matter of minutes their paws will start to ball up and it gets uncomfortable for them. If you get a chance, come down to Dog Dog Cat. Bring your friend, uh, certainly pet friendly as well. For now, we'll send it back to you in the South Shore Studios.